person said, I love your comment, the grief means we love versus feeling negative and deep sadness. I feel in my life that I have experienced a series of many deaths as relationships and even myself have evolved and changed. And this brings regrets and guilts of all the things that I didn't do or couldn't be. Did I love enough? Was I nice enough? It makes it hard to let go. Any advice? I think that my biggest fear is not dying, but not having really lived and loved everyone and everything fully. Can you relate? Does this make sense? And how can grief be our teacher? Oh boy, can I relate? I'm so, yes, I'm so, so with you. My fear, I, I, I have said much the same thing out loud many times, which is I'm not, I don't think I'm so afraid of death. I'm, I'm much more afraid of not living my life while I, fully while I have it. Um, that's the bigger challenge um, for me. So amen. And I think that's a really, I think that's a great way of framing all of this because it points you back to your life now. It points you back to what can you do now. Um, so yes, and also as part and parcel of that, regret. I think this is where it's really helpful to separate sort of necessary from unnecessary sufferings. A full life is going to be loaded with regrets, with pains, with sorrows. That's just part of the deal. We human beings are endowed with imagination, so we can always imagine something more or better than we have. You know, and, in, and depending on where we place our frame of reference, we can always frame ourselves as losers or winners. We can always frame ourselves in all sorts of ways. So I think part of the job is taking command of that framing power that we have. Um, and I think part of it, part of that also has to include, you know, regret, inevitable, okay? That's part of a rich life, knowing the feeling of regret. And anyone who has, anyone who has an act of imagination will think of lives that they, the things they could have done, could do, and just don't have time to get around. And reconciling these huge senses of potential with the realities of daily life in this body, that's so much of our task. And invariably, you know, if, if you, I would just suggest you don't have it, it's like sorrow and sadness is part of the deal too. You don't, don't demonize the bad, the hard stuff like regrets you know, that they're normal, they're just part of the deal, uh, sort of uh, like we're describing. Um, but there's a really important difference between just regrets that have to be sorrows that have to be versus unnecessary ones. So regrets because I wasn't paying attention, regrets because I wasn't in great engaged, regrets because I didn't get over myself or get over my fears those are those are bigger for me because there's something i can do about them and then finally the last piece of that puzzle is so 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 mitigating the grief the, the regret pile i think is the load minimizing it watching out for avoidable regrets and when we make choices that that don't keep regrets at bay that we could have that's where i think our that's where the action is so i think the idea here is really to don't demonize any of these sensations, but use them, learn from them. And the sooner you pay attention in the way you're describing, the sooner you can get really good at learning from your losses, learning from your regrets. So that next loss, that next thing, you know, you're a little bit more willing to show love while you could. You're a little bit more able to appreciate something while you still have it. I struggle with this all the time. I think my goal in life is to appreciate what I have while I still have it. I'm really good at appreciating things right when they're going, when, I, when I'm losing them. Um, I don't want to need loss for me to love life. So this is part of my charge, and maybe it's a little bit of yours too. So I think the idea here is don't demonize yourself for having regrets, but do take care to learn from them and do differently going forward. And at the end of a life, I can guarantee you, you will have dreams you don't get to and regrets that you wish, and uh, actions you wish you have taken, things you would have done, wish you would have done, but you can be at peace with those. You can laugh at those as, as part of life rather than cringe because you didn't dare think about them before. You're already thinking about them now, and that's so much the task. Mm -hmm.